So I'm having a little uh, little camera difficulty here. I guess you guys that shoot uh, shoot demos all the time, I guess uh, a bit more of an understanding of this is actually a lot more difficult than it looks. I can't get a tripod to uh, stand up right here to take the video. So uh, anyhow, let's let's try it there. Hopefully that holds. So again, the volume looks to be uh, if I could tell time, it's uh, it's about ten o'clock there. The, uh, the tone is backed off, it's about 9 o'clock, and then my drive is up at about 1 o'clock. So this is the uh, clean tone for reference again, uh, still with the 333 into the blues breaker. And we'll try the honeybee for a bit. Try and brighten that up a bit. It's a little dark, uh, dark sound with the tones so low. Uh, I'll give it a little bit more drive too. So now my uh, tone's just a little past noon. I'll get the drive up to about uh, two o'clock. <laughs> So it's uh, it's got a little bit more color than I thought. Uh, you know, I've never really actually used one of these, but uh, read some of the reviews online, and uh, you know, people talk about a little bit of transparency. It seems to give the uh, seems to give the tone a little bit of color. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just uh, I guess what you're into. I'm used to playing through a Tim, and uh, and that basically just makes everything sound like more. So it's it's nice to have an option uh, where you get some color to it. It's. Uh, it's kind of a darker, uh, darker sounding overdrive than I thought, but it is certainly smooth and sweet like honey. I guess that's the uh, the intent of the name. I'll just try with the drive uh, pretty close to dime there. I'm about uh, uh, about 90% of the way there. <laughs> Canadian demo be with a little tragically hip, I guess. Uh, so this sounds like it'd be really good if I could uh, if I could crank the amp in here uh, and just use it to push uh, to push the tubes a little bit harder. But on its own, it's certainly uh, it's certainly sweet sound. Like I said, smooth and uh, smooth and sweet like honey. So I'd say it's a winner in my books. The uh, the buzz you're hearing is from the amp. Uh, I get some funny lighting in here, so uh, that's uh, I guess that's normal. So the emerald green distortion machine, if I can prevent this from falling over. Right now, that's uh, that's about where I'm at. I'm not sure really how this pedal works. So I uh, I see a drive and a tone for sure, and it looks like maybe two volumes. So I'm assuming that's pre and post gain. I'm not sure which one goes where or which one does what. So we'll uh, so we'll try it out a little bit here. Let's see if I can uh, stand this one up so you can see the settings. Somewhere maybe, yeah. Okay, so again, uh, clean tone. My neck pickup. both down try to drive at noon maybe the tone at noon Let's see how that sounds 
So there's certainly uh, all kinds of volume on tap there and gain on tap. Uh, I don't know if you can tell in the video or not, but I just had a quite a bit of a volume boost there. So uh, it sounds good. It sounds sounds martially. Uh, let me just see. Get a little bit more dirt, a little bit more tone. Keep the volume where it's at. Uh, don't really want to infuriate my neighbor, so I'll just uh, just turn that down a bit. But uh, let's try this out. Okay, maybe that's a little too low. Back up. Okay, so if you can tell by the difference in the noise, but uh, there's the I'm assuming post gain because that's really my master volume. You can hear my amp uh, in and out there, so leave that where it's at. Yeah, it's nice and loud now, nice and fat. Try this and see what happens if I just turn that up. Maybe that's my preamp gain. I'll give that a shot. <laughs> So I like that. That's nice and stiff. Uh, pretty good. Pretty uh, pretty good for some rock there. I could do probably a little bit of metal. Uh, again, I'm on the 333 into a blues breaker, but uh... oh yeah, let's give it some more game. Let's give it some more dirt and see what happens. <laughs> Excuse the sloppy plan, I uh, haven't really been doing that as much as I'd like to, so... that a lot actually it's uh, it's good it's really marshally it uh, you know it sounds like an amp uh, in a box I guess I've got a JCM 2000 just a little one the uh, the 20 watt combo there the DSL 201 and uh, when that gets cooking there's quite a bit of gain and it uh, you know it sounds like a decent little Marshall so that to me sounds like it could almost be an 800 uh, you know lots of lots of nice firm gain there so uh, lots of muscle, I guess. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. I'm kind of going off the top of my head, but uh, yeah, no, I like that a lot. That's uh, that's a winner in my book. So I'll just turn the uh, turn the pre volume down a bit in there. Try a uh, try a little darker tone. Uh, back the tone off to about uh, nine o'clock. Keep the drive up at about noon. But uh, yeah, see, so it's still nice and fat there. I can. Uh, I can just get a big smooth tone out of it. Let's uh, let's try these out uh, with a couple more guitars, maybe a different amp or something. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> 